Hello guys, hello people, welcome back to this wonderful platform, MC Potoski Talk Show, here on Facebook and also on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zoom. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, welcome back to this great platform, where we react to all videos that comes our way and bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. So guys, I bring you guys the latest happening today. Just watch the video and drop your comment at the comment section what you think about this video. But before we dive into this video, look at the top here. If it's your first time on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and put on the bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video. To all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube. I want this video to go viral. So, guys, just watch the video and I will be right back. With the two factions straight in accusations, the faction led by Julius Aburi, who continues to maintain that he is chairman despite a court order which ordered him ordered his suspension, has accused the Lamedia Papa led faction of working in tandem with the All Progressive Congress to destabilize it and frustrate the ongoing efforts at the party's election petition before various tribunals. Just last week, Lamedia Papa was accused of attempts of at withdrawing petitions lodged at the presidential election petition tribunal by the party's presidential candidate, Peter Orbi. Well, we have Lamedia Papa here with us in the studio. I want to say thank you very much for joining us here on Newsday. The news has been making the rounds, and we would like you to clarify in simple terms. Did you attempt to withdraw uh, the petitions filed at the presidential petition, electoral petition tribunal? Yes or no? No attempt has been made at all to write a withdrawal letter of uh, the petitions before the tribunal. And it is not even reasonable for anyone to have had such a, a, an idea that for somebody who has built a house, we decide to destroy that same house. I think it's highly unreasonable for anybody to have that, that, that type of opinion. I have never done so, and I will never do so. Noted, Mr. Papa. Now, just wondering how you think that this, um, these allegations sprung up. We understand that, the, um, that this is being attributed by... You know, for instance, the acting national publicity secretary of your party is attributing this to external saboteurs. Just wondering how you think all this, these allegations surfaced. Pardon again. Did you hear me? I can't hear you properly. Okay. Mr. Papa, I'm asking. I can't hear you properly. Can you hear me now, please? Yes. Okay, Go ahead. great. I'm asking how you think that this, these allegations surfaced. For instance, we understand that the acting national publicity secretary of your party is saying this is the work of external saboteurs. Do you stand with him or is there more depth to this? I told you we have never done anything like that. So we draw this, I, I mean, to burn out something from, uh, uh, from uh, and any letter of withdrawal from the tribunal. We have never done so. I've said this several times, and I want the whole world to still know this, that we have never. And if anybody has any proof to show, please, that person is free to come forward and tell the whole world. All right. Um, there are also talks by the Julius Aburi faction of the Labour Party that, at the moment, that yourself and some other members of the party are moles within the party, so to speak, working for the APC under the guise of trying to advance the cause of Labour Party. How true is this? That's not correct. I've said it times with that number that such, a, such, a, such an attitude is anti-party and it's anti-progress. I have never done so. And I've told them, if anybody has a proof or evidence, let them come forward and tell the whole world if they have any. And they've not been able to bring any. If they don't have that evidence, they should keep short and say other things to the whole world, not repeating what is unreasonable and what is absolutely nonsense. 
Oh, Mr. Papa, we, we know your stance. You've made it very clear. But clearly there is some division, you know, with the Labour Party regarding this matter. Just wondering what steps you might be taking towards a re resolution. Well, the... I mean, the leaders of the party, including our principal, the presidential candidate is also working on it. We're expecting him to call a meeting. And once that meeting is called, we will sit down and resolve the matter. All right, um, uh, Mr. Papa, I also would like to find out from you because at the moment I know you are at loggerheads with the with Julius Abure at the moment. But talk to us. A lot of people would think that after so many gains that the Labour Party witnessed, win, some, some would say at different points, understanding that the Labour Party were not really regarded, now became a third force. Some would have expected that the Labour Party will come together, try to build on the winds, and probably seek to strengthen in different areas. But what we've been getting are these squabbles upon squabbles, fights, bickering, and all sorts to divide the party as against United Party. Can there be a middle ground whereby yourself, <clears throat> Julius Abure, both camps can meet and resolve this in the interest of the party? Well, thank you very much. I've said it earlier on that our principal, the president candidates, is working on that. And we are expecting him to call both parties. We will talk. But the, the cross of the matter is has something to do with the crisis. But it has something to do with criminality. The chairman of the party, the ex-chairman, was directed by the court, ordered by the court, not to parade himself as leader of the party and three others for alleged criminal offenses. And the whole world is not speaking to that. He's talking about uh, somebody is using A or B, C, D. He should talk about the criminal aspects. Not the aspect of uh, looking excuses that the whole world will not consider as if uh, is, uh, is a saint. So the, the point is that he has been alleged by, by a court. And they have asked him to step aside. He should step aside and face the court charges against him. Not looking for excuses or trying to incite people against us. All we said was that since we have been asked to step, step aside, Step aside, face your charges, and when you are lucky to come back, you come back and take your positions. And where you are unfortunate, then the, the, the law take its course. I don't know why he keeps on just parabolating, giving excuses, inciting people, blackmailing us unnecessarily. That's the, that's the point I'm raising. He should come out parabolating, giving excuses, inciting people, blackmailing us unnecessarily. That's the, that's the point I'm raising. He should come out. Defend all the charges against him. And it, it's simple. It is not a difficult thing. It is, it's only not the first in Nigeria. But because I want to tell you that nobody is above the law. If he wants to do that, then he should face the charges. And that's that, not more than that. There is no crisis in the party. The point is that he is the chairman. He has deputy. And it is clearly stated in the constitution. That for whatever reason, if the chairman is unable to play his role, then the deputy chairman will take over in acting capacity. It does not require long story. It does not require long grammar. I can even demonstrate to you, deputy means or have somebody in acting capacity, if you fail to do certain things at a particular time, somebody will do it on your behalf. And when you, are, when you come back to normalcy, then you take over your job. I wonder why instead of stepping aside, he keeps on giving excuses, blackmailing us, and so on and so forth. I mean, I'm very sure the whole world will soon know who is telling lies among us. Oh, well, duly noted, Mr. Papa. Thank you for that. And I would just like to expand this conversation beyond the, the um, issue of criminality, using your words. We understand, you know, not too long ago, I think yesterday, the president, the outgoing president, Muhammad Buhari, attributed the outcome of the elections in terms of your party's loss as well as the PDP to 
basically over confidence, um, bad tactical decisions, and complacency. Just wondering what, how that came across to you. I can't hear you properly. Speaking Mr. Papa, can you hear me, please? Repeat. Yeah. Okay, great. I can hear you now. Thank Speak you. Loud. Now, I was asking, I'd like to expand this conversation. The president, the current president, President Muhammadu yeah. Buhari, attributed the outcome of the just concluded elections in terms of your loss and PDP's loss to overconfidence, um, complacency, okay. and also bad tactical decisions. I'm wondering how that came across to you. Well, that is a, a, a president has his own opinion, and everybody is at liberty to his own opinion. That may not be in our own case. Nobody at this contesting. We have the confidence that he's bound to win. Everybody is making a trial. So it's not because of complacency. Everybody is trying to do his best, and we have done our best. Our best, maybe this time around, is not the best, but we are still, we are still planning to do more in the nearest future. All right, um, Mr. Apapa, let me find out from you. They say there are, there are reports out there that the underlying um, squab, um, reason or the underlying current that is literally fueling this crisis has to do with monies that were to be shared. How true is that? One. And secondly, I would like to find out what is the fate of those who contested in the primaries in Imo Kogi State and Bayelsa State. Because if you say Julius Abure is not the chairman of the Labour Party, primaries were conducted in this state, what becomes of those candidates? Let's hear from you. Well, the, the issue of whether it is money that created problem, I'm, I'm not aware of that. Nobody has ever reported to the whole world that we have money crisis. Or issue of sharing money is our problem. It is not. We are talking about criminality. And that is what we have at the moment. The issue of what happened to our candidates uh, in Imo, Kogi, and Bayasa seats, we have done the screening, we have done the primaries, and the uh, candidates have emerged. We have submitted their names to the INEC at our own level. We have done that, and uh, very soon they will have their names on INEC. Uh, uh, Potter. The reason why I ask this question is that the youth, national youth uh, leader, Eragbe Anslem, has said that primaries conducted by Julius Abure is illegal, null, avoid. Yes, that's correct. Uh, if that's, that's correct. correct. If because that's the point is that. Okay, if that's correct, you said that you've done primaries and you've submitted names to INEC, and you're saying that at the moment yeah. those primaries are null, avoid, and illegal. Which is which? Yeah. Yes, I said any, anybody who fails to do his primary with us has taken a risk and he has done that at his own peril because anything Aburi signs. After he has been asked by the court to step aside, is illegal. And everybody who regards him as his own leader at that period is doing that at his own risk. That's why I say, whatever you do in his name is null and void. Duly noted, um, Labour Party faction acting national chairman, Mr. Lamidi Apapa. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsday. We wish you well. Thank you for watching that video we appreciate and this is where i'll be leaving you guys but if this is your first time on this great channel please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel you will be the first person to see the video so guys See you guys some other time.